What's up, Dexters? It's the Beast Codex here, and welcome back to the Enchanted Library. Today I'm going to be opening up one of those Costco 2-packs featuring the Jolteon tin, as well as the regular Pokeball tin for this set. Now, I have a few different Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon tins. Now, I don't know what's going to be in this one versus the other ones, but you know what? It's taking a bit of space, so I need to take it off my shelf, so we're going to crack it open, and hopefully we get some good stuff in this one. Alright you guys, so this again is the two-pack set from Costco featuring the Jolteon tin. I mean, there are a bunch of new sets always out at Costco. Sometimes I do get them, sometimes I don't, but I mean, if it's new to me, I'm definitely going to get on those because they are such a good deal and you get so many good cards from it at such a good price, it's hard to pass them up. So I'm going to get rid of all the plastic and get into these two tins. So I did actually get one of each of these tins. So I do have the three, the Trio, the Jolteon, Flareon, and the Porion. Now I was a little hesitant with these box sets at first just because the promo cards, although they are beautiful, I'm <laughs> the ones that look a little more cartoony or the older style of 3D aren't my favorite, I have to admit. Um, but obviously it's still a stunning promo card at such a good rate, you, you can't pass it up. So we got Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, and Rebels Clash, which is a really good variety. So let's get into these. Battle Styles, uh, not a huge one up there at the top of my list, but there are some in that set. It's a green code card though. One, two, three, four. So there are cards in the set that are worth looking into and getting. Okay, we got Phoebe, Heatmore, Biplup, Handor, Lickitung. We got Reverse Hollow Energy Exchanger and, as expected, a non hollow Electivire. So nothing good from there, unfortunately. Vivid Voltage, though, that is a pretty cool set. We got a green code card though. One, two, three, four. Maybe the promo are going to be the best cards that we pull from these. That's a really cool Hitmon Top card though. We got Clefairy, Fampy, Reverse Hollow Dusclops, and Lucario Non Hollow. Again, as we expected though. So, Darkness Ablaze, what do you got for us? Maybe we can get some better luck on the tin, but let's not give up on the Jolteon tin just yet. Unfortunately, another green code card. One, two, three, four. I have had some decent pulls from a green code card though. Struggle Gloves. So maybe we can get something. I do see something, you guys. Reverse Hollow, Powerful Energy, and a Salamence VMAX. That is a pretty sweet card you guys get from a green code card. Thank you to Darkness Ablaze for pulling through on that one. So next one is Rebel Clash, our last one for the Jolteon tin. And it's a white code card. One, two, three, four. Got Dark Energy, Lampet, Galarian Mr. Mime, we got Caterpie. Aracuda, we got a Reverse Hollow Coughing, and a Cinderace VMAX. Alright, so it was a bit of a rough start with that tin, but we got some good ones in the middle. I'm going to pull these aside and get into that Pokeball tin now. Alright, so this is the standard Pokeball tin that we got in our Jolteon box from Costco, the two-pack. The interesting thing about these ones, and I've had this happen to me before when buying from Costco, uh oh, we've got this little thread not wanting to open here. Okay, should have opened that off camera as I should have known. But one other thing I wanted to point out with these Pokeball tins is um, I have enough now that I have one of each that have come out so far that I think uh, to have for my collection. But it's funny that even though it was packed and inside of a box, it still can get scuffed up or dented. This one doesn't seem to have a dent, thankfully, but I have had them where they come and they're dented inside, even though the box is perfect, but the tin, for some reason, is scuffed up. So inside of our Pokeball for this one, comes with the three packs. As you know, they're usually crumpled 
And we've got an Entei coin, which is nice to add. So we got Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield, and Darkness Ablaze looking pretty rough, you guys. A little worried about that, but let's give it a go. We got let's start with Rebel Clash with a green code card. One, two, three, four. So not so good. Water energy. We got Metacham, Magmar. We've got Snowfar, Reverse Hollow Masquerade, and Ludicolo Non Hollow. Just had to throw in that rhyme there for us. They didn't want to give us a hollow there. So next we've got Darkness Ablaze. Oops, so green code card. One, two, three, four. And Metal Energy. Soul Rock, Bird Keeper, Dedenne. I see something back there, you guys. Again, the green code card may help us out. Shelmet, Reverse Hollow, and an Upside Down, but Eternatus VMAX card. Yes. I believe that was Darkness of Blaze coming through on a green code card twice now. Last pack magic for the Pokeball Tin is a white code card from the Sword and Shield. One, two, three, four. Sword and Shield pack base set there. Crushing Hammer, Manti, Lucky Egg. Hopefully that's a lucky one for us. We've got Sobble, Reverse Hollow, Aurora Energy, and a Victini V. Super cute there. All right, you guys, so that was the two-pack promo box from Costco featuring the Jolteon tin as well as the Pokeball tin. So what did you think? Have you guys opened some of those sets? As I said it before, when it comes to the Costco packs, you can't go wrong. The amount of cards that you get and the value that you get is so much more than the amount that you're going to pay from Costco. And if you're just looking to open up some cards, it's the best place to go if they have them available. So these are just some of the highlighted pulls that we got. We got the awesome promo Jolteon GX card. Sorry. Yeah, that was a GX card. Sorry about that. Beautiful promo there. Again, I'm a little hesitant when I see some of those 3D artworks. Those older styles are not my favorites, but it is still a great card. We also got that Salamence VMAX card. Again, the funniest thing about this set was pulling a lot of these really cool cards from packs that had green code cards. So do not sleep on those. I've have to learn my lesson when it comes to that. We got Eternatus V Max as well and the Victini V card. So some really good pulls again and such a good value. The two pack, you get the tins if you want to collect those or if you want to use them for storage. The Pokeballs, I'm always scared of those. As you've guys seen, the packages do get a little crumpled. Thankfully, there was no damage in these ones though. So what did you guys think? I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned, you guys. I have so much more to come, so please like my videos, share them, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on Instagram at the Beast Codex as well. So thanks again.